Hi guys. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well. I see everybody's chit chatting. Some people are expecting snow. It's very nice. I hope we can, I hope this is working. I haven't bleeding where <laughs> Tell me. Okay. Bleeding. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god, I'm my lips. Okay. Anyway. Hi, hi, hello, hello. Hi, hi. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, thank you. No, it's makeup, Diane. So oh my god, hi everyone. Um wow. I can't believe like this. No, it's funny, it's New York, I feel like it used to get more snow, maybe a little bit. I don't know. It's not, it's, it's rained a lot yesterday. And I, I was thinking, oh, if it had been just a little colder, it would have snowed, but not really. <laughs> hi, Rosie. Hi, uh, hi, Rosie. Hello, crazy. Ruth. Hi, Ruth. So embarrassing. I'm like Trump. It's all me, me, me. Hi, Ruth. Good to see you guys. Oh my God, I feel, do you guys feel like they're over there it's falling apart or maybe I'm just not not watching the news as much? I feel like they're losing the thread of everything over there. Oh my God. I, I Maybe it's me, I just feel like, uh, did you see what that guy, really like that guy, the guy, you know, the, the, the guy who the, abused his wives and he's very religious, okay? What's his name again? Rod, Roger, what is his name? Uh, Rob. Rob Porter. That's right. Oh, hello, Patricia. Good to see you. No, that's okay. You're not late. You just started. Um, oh, my God. Can you imagine? And so they try. it's like, oh, my God. Because for them, it's the norm. It's like, oh, you know, well, don't worry, you know. So and so over there, he abused children. You you abuse you abuse your wife. You rape somebody. You kill somebody. That's fine. You know why not? Everybody has something in the closet. Everybody has something. As long as you say you know you're religious or something. Yeah, and I I want Julie said his ex wife was so eloquent. I've I read the stories and I haven't watched them speak, but I it was pretty obvious. Okay, that they were obviously not lying. Exactly, exactly. Ruth said he has the nerve to deny it. Can't explain the black eye. It's one thing, guys, not to say that if you're not married to someone that is not, you know, is the same, but I feel like the fact that he was married to two of them, it's like, it's a serious pattern. And he's 40 years old. He's, you know, he's relative, like he's pretty young. And he's been married twice and all of them, right? It's, it's unbelievable. I don't know. Oh my God. It's really, uh, but because I was thinking it's, it's strange, right? It's almost like it's a requirement. It's a requirement that you have to be an abusive. And so, and I remember guys, seriously, you know how I, I've said this many times that I love watching the crime shows and I feel like Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like abusing, you know, the abusing animals and pe people like your wives and everything, most of the criminals that kill people do that too. Okay. So it's, um, it's a pat, you know, it's a part of the personality, I guess, of like the sociopath. So it's not, you know, honestly, that guy, it's sort of like, he is, you know, exactly like the mean, oh my God, Patricia is brilliant. Patricia said, someone could suggest he go to a meanest treatment facility. Exactly. But I, I wish that empathy could be taught somehow, but I feel like those people like that, you can't really change them. It's very difficult. This took so long to come to light. Did it really know about it? Because you know what I, what it was, guys? I Sometimes I go on that website, um, what is it called? It's the Daily Mail. Um, let's see here. Oh, you know what? Hold on a second, guys. I need to... Yeah, so, oh my God. Oh, the uh, Patricia is saying the army had facilities for this. Interesting, it's interesting. Wow, I'm just, I'm have, somebody was, 
Hold on a second, guys. Oh, oh my God. It's crazy. It's almost like anger management, but it's almost like every single person who works there has that. It's like normal to them or something. It's not normal, but to them, it's pretty normal, I guess. Okay. Somebody was trying to come in and, and I couldn't, so I, I, I added the link. So, oh my God. Anyway, guys, so <clears throat> it's crazy. You know, and I, this is the person who supposedly gives them all the documents, get, goes through all the documents, and, and, and I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hello, Doanna. Don't want, I'm sorry. So guys, so what should we work on today? Just, I was just thinking, um, we have, I don't feel like, do you wanna do a reading on this person? I don't think it's necessary to do a reading on this person, right, this, this uh, Porter person. I don't think it's uh, Don Jr. That's a good, interesting, interesting. You know what I was thinking, guys? I really like the format of yesterday's. Okay. Yes, yesterday. I really no. I'm just thinking like I really like the format of yesterday. Sort of like looking right before, you know, right before. Let's if we look at Don Jr. You know, because one 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 answer I think I would like to know answered. Like, what was I, like repeating myself. I feel like like um. I don't know. <clears throat> I liked to know the question about what happens. Why, why do I have this feeling, con consistent feeling that my, Mike Pence is not going to take over? Okay, it looks like he is he he is as crude as everybody else. But why? Like it would be nice to also understand to to sort of like go back to the movie, okay? Because I see it in my head like a movie, or kind of okay. So. Going back to the movie, what happens to Mike Pence that he can't take over? I'm assuming that he's not going to take over, but it would be nice to see what is the what is the moment when he can't, what happens? You know what I mean? What happens? Because the feeling that I have very strongly is that is that everybody falls before Trump does. Okay. So so I'd like to know what happens, okay? what happens and like because to him and to ryan because i believe they are the you know and also M mcconnell okay what happens hello hello laura nice to thank you nice nice uh, welcome laura 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 yeah and what happens so duana please tell me you're interested in what hap happens in what extent what do you mean duana oh my lord so right hi um how much he suffered yeah i feel like okay so okay so i'm trying to think here let so the the answers i would like tonight are these okay so let so i can i can also include don jr okay and like think about try to like zoom in to the day when he falls okay sort of like that do, do you guys agree so i really like how it was yesterday you, that you go the weeks back in okay what happens to to the movement don't fall day yeah yes don't fall and what happens i'm just okay guys i'm, I'm gonna try to concentrate here like try to think of like how do i ask the question so why can't they what happens to you know what okay okay this is maybe starting with the question Started. What was the question? To the movement. Oh, to the movement. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what you mean, Di Dawana. Meaning like the, the movement. I don't know what you mean exactly, but it's okay. You know, we can we can sort of think think about it together, elaborate it. That would take care of them all. Yes, but I feel like you know it, because I feel like when I when we have generic questions. I feel like the answers aren't as 
as sharp. You know what I mean? Because I feel like you have, in order to get like a movie, it's a little bit like you have to get like very sharp, very clear. Because if you say what happens to them, then it's like a whole, like a big thing. It's a little bit like, you know, I don't know, obviously I'm not, I'm not a lawyer, but if you're going to charge somebody with something, you need to know exactly what it is that you're looking into. Okay. So, so I'd like to know when, what happens when you fall exactly reaction. Okay. Okay. You know what we could, we could, okay. Like let's, I think we could start with the with certain, the question of whether a will this will person X fall before Trump? Okay, we should ask start with that a, and then b. If so, show me um, the date. You know, let me write it down. Okay. And if so, show me exactly. Allison, yes, this is an interesting question, but let's see. Let's try to like remove everybody. Let's look at it empty. Okay, let's try to remove everybody before we try to place somebody there. Okay, exactly. That's a good question. But let's ask about the people who are closest. So, A, will this person fall before Trump? And then B, go to two, two weeks before until they fall. And then the day they fall is in and after. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so, all righty. So, let's ask. Which, who do we start with? Because I feel like, I'm trying to think. I feel like we should do person by person. Okay, so, so okay, do you guys agree if I do, okay, Don Jr. Okay, let's do Don Jr. Don Jr. Okay. Yeah. Don Jr. Will Don, okay, so, what's Don Jr.? Will he fall before Trump? If he does, take us to the two weeks. The mm -hmm. sign that will show us he's leaving by two weeks leading to it, the sign that shows us that he's going to be leaving, he's going to be removed the day of the removal. And what happens after, okay? Don Jr., Don Jr., Don Jr., Don Jr. Don Jr. Fall before his death. Fall before his death. Don't you know fall before his death? Well, don't you know fall before his death? Well, don't you know fall before his death? Don't you need to fall before his dad? Don't you need to fall before his dad? Don't you fall before his dad? Don't you fall before his dad?
Okay, guys, so I feel like it's not, it's show, giving me more information. I feel like I should have asked a different question. I should have asked, will be he will he be indicted before his dad? Okay, and I did not ask the question, but I'll show you what it says. Okay, so this is the judgment card. So the judgment, legal judgment, or the judgment, this could mean even prison. This could mean government, legal issues, okay? And the emperor here related to Russia. So there will be a judgment, a legal judgment against here, judgment about Russia, the government influence over Russia. They will look into his past, look into the past, okay? And this is usually the jail card in tarot a lot of times, and the child. So this could lead to pro, like a jail for either for him as a child or Trump. Okay, so I believe it, it's possible that it could be him here, not necessarily Trump. So look into the past. You know how how there are all these there are so many video there well not so many. But there's one classic video from 2006 where he said, he's talking, he said, oh, all of our, all of our business is related to the Russians, or they, they, they basically subside our business. Okay, so that's interesting. Oh, guys, you know, I forgot, this is so obvious. This is Trump Tower, hello. And I was like, remember how he had the meeting with a lawyer at the Trump Tower? This is a tower, exactly. So, so there's a judgment, okay, about that. So that's pretty bad, baby. I'm done, Junior. I had a meeting with the Russians, and I said, "Tell me what you got on Hillary." If it, what is, what did he say? He said, "If it's what you say, it is." I love it. I love it. If it's what you say, it is. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Send me the emails. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see. Oh my God. How fun. It's not funny. It's actually sad. I feel bad for him in a way. He's too dumb to really grasp, you know? So it's like, I love it. If it is what you say it is. Okay. Yeah. So they look into the Trump Tower and they look into his role in this meeting, right? With the lady. Okay. Okay, so, all right, so this is, let's see here again. Yeah, this is, the, these are their, you know, the funky little cards. This is a work, an occupation card, a journey. So they look into his work trips, okay? And it, this is also foreign influence. So the foreign people in his job, court person, meaning could be African-American judge here, could be Mueller, but basically, there's a court person looking into Don Jr. There's a court person. <laughs> Look, there's a court person. So it's uh, this is a marriage card, meaning he's looking into the, um, yeah. This is a good lady, meaning I think this is could be Russia, right? So he had a marriage card with a lady, meaning there's a deal with Russia and the court's like, girl, I've seen you. I've seen the contract. Mm-hmm. I've seen it. So that's a problemo, okay? So, so that's how they catch him. So that there he is, the court person looking. And so that could be Mueller too, okay? So it's not necessarily Mueller, but Mueller's role because it's the judge, that person. He has to go before the judge. And so, militare. This means a person. This could be mean discipline. It could mean okay, dispiacere. So. He's kind of upset, okay, about the mili somebody military here. We have a conversation, okay. He gets expensive gifts, and he's a liar, okay. So falsità, presente di pietre preziose, la conversazione, spiacere. So yeah, so basically. They got the meetings. I feel like the meetings are kind of a problem, okay, for him because it's showing here. Now, 
it's interesting because this is what it's showing, guys. Let's see. Just now, let me. Okay. I'm trying to think here if we. I'm trying to think if we. Um, if I should look at. Close, let me close my eyes and see what happens until. This is what I should ask. Okay. So this is like it's showing if it falls before. And let me just close my eyes. Okay. Because I feel like. I need to know in relationship to, to Trump falling, I need to locate him. So I'm going to ask to be located. It's like, I feel like I'm sorry, guys. I, I feel, please, this is for entertainment purposes only. I feel like I'm like a crazy person. Like, <laughs> like I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to find out. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes now and see. Okay, so, so, okay, let's go now to the day when Trump falls. Okay, now let's. Tell me where. Haven't seen all of it. Where is Don Jr.? And what happened to him? What happens to him before Trump falls? What happens to him before Trump falls? Okay, guys, so I see what I'm seeing here. This is obviously just the beginning, but what I see here is that I got I got that he was watching. The, there was some sort of television or he was watching the whole thing happening on television the day that his dad, like his dad is like, not escorted away, but he leaves the White House, okay? So he's, ha he's not having, a, I don't know that he's having a breakdown, but he's like, he's like having the shakes when he sees that on TV, because I feel like he was able to like, like psych himself up mentally with the idea that his dad was going to like take care of him, you know, was going to like, you know, try to like fix things for him or something, you know, try to like free him somehow. But like when he watches that, he's like, kind of like everything is falling apart. Okay. And he's like, no, I thought my, my dad's going to, you know, my dad's gonna take care of me. My dad does not. And then I, I get, I got the numbers. It was saying three, two, one. Three, it showed Kushner, two, Don Jr., and one, Trump. So I feel like what I understood was three weeks before there's Kushner, two weeks before there is, um, there is Don Jr., and then there's Trump. So it's two weeks before Trump falls, then, then Don Jr. And I feel like, I, you know, I'm looking at the indictment, okay, and I feel like he goes before, I don't know, if, somehow I feel like he sees it or he look, goes before, before Mueller, and Mueller just looks at, at him like, like a glass of water or something, like, oh, he's a glass of water, whatever, so kind of like, so I see the indictment and I see crime against the United States, okay, I see like the whole, like, how do you say? It? I'm trying to okay. The doc the document itself it's showing that he committed crimes against the U.S. Okay, and uh, and it's like a big you know it's like a big thing. It says that you know he's he lied. I mean it. I feel like the there's many things that he's going to be you know the indicted for, but this is it. Like this is uh. How do you say it? Yeah, this is it. So. So I feel like he, he thought that, like, he had his lawyers, okay? They were not. I feel like when he saw that, that Kushner was indicted, he felt, well, but Kushner, you know, he, he bought the building, Kushner this. He, he was able to, like, kind of, like, 
how do you say mentally find an excuse for himself like you know mentally psych himself up by saying like oh no but you know Kushner this or that but then when he hit him it was like uh you know just looking at the doc I'm still looking at the document it's a it's like big paragraphs of the things that he's being accused of okay so so it's not like and I feel like it's final it's not like there's any negotiation of like oh you know let's try to get a deal no no, no. it's like boom it's it's I, the the sense I get is like a piece of like um stainless steel, okay? It's like closes the door on him. The kind of thing that he's being accused of, if he cannot get away from, okay? Exactly. So I feel like what happens is also that he okay Kushner falls is the first big fall, okay? I mean there was of course there was a Flynn before, but he falls, okay? And then. The whole system starts falling apart very quickly, and it's very hard for him to get a grasp on what is happening. Okay, and seriously, guys, maybe it's my, me thinking this, but I feel like suddenly the big lawyers that he has are not going to be working for him anymore because the checks bounced or something, or like the government is going to, how do you say it, freeze the assets. Okay, so he's not going to be able to pay the lawyers anymore. So that's what i mean that's what i'm feeling okay so i feel like it's just gonna be like he has to go to a public i feel like his fall is swift in the sense that his self-image changes like he's not aware like it's almost like like his i feel like his dad is a drug for him like his dad he lives on the fantasy that his dad his dad is always going to save him okay but but it's almost like when this happens he falls to the reality that they were right that everybody, well, what they were saying, the people who were warning him were right. He committed, he did commit a crime and his dad could not save him. Okay, so so I feel like he just becomes a regular prisoner or something like that, okay? So so that's what I, the vision I saw. Now let's see here, it's saying, you know, it's explaining the things that happened. Now let's see, let's see what the cards say, okay? Because I saw this, you know, without the cards now, it was just a question that I went to that day. So what happens exactly, right? Is it okay if I ask, uh, let's see, what happens the day, like, you know, when his, his indictment comes out, because I think right now we, we know it's, it's definitely a, a sure thing. So when his indictment comes out, what else do we know? Like what else seals him? What else happens? You know, when the actual document indictment comes out, okay, that seals him, what are the events? Okay. Okay. Um Okay. Okay. So Okay. So here we have you know the wrong the network of the wrong money, okay? So I feel like it's the money laundering network. The work behind the scenes. Or oh, also, you know, this is I What's coming to me is this is the money that funds the work, the shady money, because we have the clouds on top of it. So the shady network that funds them. And this is uh, upside down. I think this is like this network saw an opportunity and was kind of aggressive about it, okay? And delays here. This could also be related to the internet and networks because I remember the whole thing with uh, WikiLeaks. Okay, this is this could be important. Key opportunity. 
hidden network. Key, this would be, yeah, this was key opportunity for the hidden network. Okay. And so this is funny, an ending. Okay, you see the coffin? Somebody's being buried. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, oh no. It's meetings. There's meetings. So it's the meetings that killed the him. These meetings that he had, okay? Sad news. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm so sorry, John. Don Jr., oh my God. He's so innocent. He's such a great guy. Oh my God. He doesn't deserve it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You. Oh no. A change. Oops. Oh, it changes the end. So this is a sad news for him. This is him, the main person. So the subject of the reading. So yeah, it's an ending because of the meetings. He got sad news. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Change, Ch -ch changes, Send a lunch. Ch -ch changes. I'm going to jail, I'm going to jail. Okay, so there's some changes there though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, an ending. Because of meetings, I got sad news. Yeah, I feel like it's a change, okay? It's, it's gonna be a little different, a little different. Don Jr., a little different. Some sad news for you in ending because of meetings. Okay, now interesting here we have, quickly, this is, I you know, I was restudying the meaning of these cards today. Belvedere, it was a person, I, I assume that this had to do with ambition, but it's more, more like something coming quickly. And he's kind of sad about it, melancholia. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Why, why is he sad? I don't know. And then suddenly he wakes up. He wakes up and then like, because la amante means a person, a lover who's like romantic and like, living the dream, like a dreamer man, like romantic man. And then like suddenly falls to reality, wakes up. And then la nemica, it means the enemy woman. Okay, let's think, I think, I wonder if, if like, if it, he thinks of it is, I, th I wonder if this is in his mind, Hillary, okay. Amica. So it's funny because he has both a female enemy and a friendly woman. So I feel like quickly he gets sad when he falls to reality, okay, of what happened. And either that the woman that, that may be the woman that he, he wronged has friends or something like, it's a little bit unclear to be honest to see more. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, no, yeah, it's something like, again, goes back to money. I pulled, this is the enemy again. Just pull more, more cards to understand more. So he's like, he is an enemy with money or like money from our enemies, meaning I think could also be Russians. If we think about it in that way, that makes more sense, okay? And this is a card that usually represents Russia. So he's a, his friends, fidelita, meaning his loyalty. Delta is with a Jovan Efanchula, which is usually the Russia card, okay? So he's friends with the enemy, and he took their money. This is Denari, meaning money, okay? I don't know if you can see it. And so La Alegria, the happiness, is upside down. So that made people unhappy, okay? He's friends with the enemy. Donald Jr. sleeping with the enemy, like literally, okay? So... So, yeah, yeah, no, the Russian Federation is like, a, no, we, we know Don Jr., we went to meet with him, we offered adoption, we said, you, we want foreign policy, we take your money, you do foreign policy, if you don't like it, we'll shoot you in the back. So, so anyway, so that sadness, oh, oh no, oh no, he, he, it's almost, you know what I feel like, he realizes, like a lot of these cards, especially the other ones, say that at the moment where these things kind of shit really hits the fan when there's a legal problem that's when he realizes the shit he's done you know because that's i feel like this is showing what's going to be 
in the indictment, this is the the subject of the indictment, is like the enemy. His enemy, meaning he's the dog here. Lefedelta and his friends with the enemy, and the enemy here in this case is Russia. And he got, because they gave, Russia gave him money. And so it gave him money, also la alegria, could mean happiness or joy, right? It could also mean that a moment when he, they were down and out, Russia came and helped them. So their relationship goes back way goes way back. Okay, so that's another problem for him. And uh, and that's that. So should I ask if he's going to go to prison or or should we? I feel like we know, right? What happens after, like? What happened? Okay, this is the next, and, and then we'll end him because we have several people to do. So it's like now that we know this about him, what happens after Trump goes to jail? Well, Trump leaves, okay? After Trump leaves, what happens to Donald Jr.? Okay, what, right? I feel like it's, I feel like we're, we're going with the assumption here that Trump is going to leave, okay? I think it's pretty undeniable. And even if it's like a fantasy, Okay, I'm like, am I crazy? What I still believe that. So, going with that, what happens after? What happens after to Don Jr. the day out? Like, let's say within a year or six months after Trump goes to jail, what is the consequence for him of Trump going to jail? Okay, so let's look at that. You know, like, meaning, even if it's nothing, even if it's not related, like, how is his face going to change after? Oh no, I wonder I'm going to go to jail. I think I am. I think I am. So he is like a hangman upside down. That means like he is, what was the word I was using for this? Entangled. He's entangled in all of this. Okay. So he's entangled in dad. This is dad, dotard. I am dotard son. I am entangled in the business. I go to jail because I took the wrong money. Yeah, so he's like entangled with dad. And like the like the victory turns sour. Here's chariot upside down because of a lot of money. Okay, so dad's money is entangled, has the wrong dad's money has the wrong connections. Now what happens to Donald Jr.? He has nowhere to turn. Donald Jr. Yeah. So, okay, so then this is Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like this is a card of regularity. So like clockwork, something happens. This is a change. Okay, so change happens when Dotard leaves. This is Dotard. Like it's a card of leaving or well, in terms of transportation or leaving and moving. Oh, where it was? What? Oh. It is. Okay. And then this is a card of, you know, things, new plans. Okay. Things. What are the plans? Guilty. Dude. Guilty. As charged. I'm guilty. As charged. When dead leaves the government, I go to jail because I'm guilty. I go to jail because I'm guilty as charged. I go to jail because I'm guilty. I go to jail. Guilty is charged. So, okay, so this is a person leaving because of guilt. All right, so so that's that, guys. So, so this is interesting because it's saying, okay, here, dad, you know, money, like he's in, dad's in, money is entangled and he's entangled in, in dad's business. So when dad, though, hard leaves, the money is guilty and so is dad. I mean, so, you know what I mean? So he moves because he's guilty, but the money related to them is also guilty. So I sense this here, guys, very strongly that like the money is confiscated. The money they supposedly had is gone. Okay. Once, once they are, I feel like once this is showing for him specifically, once the indictment falls for him, the money is confiscated immediately. I feel like, I don't know what law it is, but it's like they take the money. Okay. So. So that's okay after Trump. Let me just pull out the other cards just for fun. All 
Oh, and guys, this is kind of, I feel kind of sad for him actually when I say this. Hi, Morsi. This is a little child, okay? So I think like this could be either him or Trump. It doesn't really matter, honestly. I think it could be him, okay? So this is a child is happy, great happiness when they are with Russia. This is a lady card, okay? So they're with Russia, they're very happy. Oh, how nice. And then there's a rich girl. Now, I think this could be Ivanka actually, okay? Because, why? Because then it says she's a false, false person. So that's very interesting because I feel like actually what this would indicate to me in the context of what we're seeing is that Ivanka might have given information that makes him look bad. Okay, so I feel like Ivanka just gave everybody away so she could try to save Kushner. Okay, so here's a child happy with Russia and here's Ivanka and she's a false person, meaning she may have given something away in order to save her husband. So that's also showing. And then the other cards here. Yeah, it's interesting here. So, consolante sorpresa. This is a, a card of like something unexpected happens. Like, oh, you know, something you were expecting is not. You, you were expecting something bad, it wasn't so bad. But here, the thing, the surprise is bad. This is a bad surprise. Donna de servizio means maid. It's like, oh, bad surprise, he no longer has maids. I'm so sorry, Don Jr. Oh no, nobody cares for him. Because ultimately it's like the w women's work, quote unquote, I think of it. Okay, maid, right? So, oh no, I'm so sorry, Don Jr., I'm sorry. Bambino, child. Oh no, he's a child. He woke up. Oh no, look, he's cra he goes crazy. Disperato per gelosia. Like, this is amazing, this image. Look at the guy. He has a gun. He tries to kill himself. He's trying to kill himself. He's crazy. When he realizes, like, what's happening, okay, he's, he tries to kill himself, maybe. So he's a child who goes crazy once he sees, like, the reality, okay? And casa, casa means house. This could be their family business, okay? So he tries to like, he goes crazy when he realizes what happened to the family business, okay? Yeah, I feel like maybe he, he is gonna have a, some moment where like he needs to go to the psychiatrist or whatever you call it because he's gonna have a breakdown in public, you know, over there in prison or whatever, okay, so. Does he go, I'm just like, does he go to jail? Does he go to spend time in jail? Does he go to jail? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's it. You know, I, I'm trying, I, I, I pull out cards about whether he's gonna go to jail. I just feel like, I think we already know, guys, what happens. The whole thing goes down. He goes down. The business goes. I feel like now with this reading on him, it's very clear. When he's indicted, the assets are frozen. The assets that we are. Let's do Pence now. The assets that are the Trump, whatever, business assets are, are frozen. Okay? That's what I think. All right. So now let's move on to the next person. And he gets, like, gets real. Shit gets real for him. Okay? I think he had hopes that Trump was gonna like, you know, be able to escape and then help him out. But once he sees that Trump is not gonna get away, then, then like, okay. Just a question for future, but go ahead. Oh, does, does he have a, tr yeah, I don't know. I don't know, he does really? Yeah, interesting. But he never talks about her, right? Trump never talks. Apparently, Trump has a, somebody saying so Trump has a sister. I didn't. Yeah, that who's a judge. I I didn't know that, but he never talks about her. So it's interesting. Oh, Clinton appointed her. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. I think if she was, she never. I don't think she ever did. She even go to any of his public things. I don't think she has.
Oh my God. Yeah. Well, somebody said something, guys, not to like, you know, brag or, or say something, but somebody mentioned in the comments on YouTube, I think her name is Sandy. She said something, I don't know where, where she saw this news, that Trump has already broken seven televisions in the White House. So he does it all the time. I didn't know that. I never heard that before, but remember how I said yesterday that he breaks television, he's gonna break a television, but apparently it happens. It's like a common thing. He's already broken seven and that appraisers already went to the white house because he has destroyed antiques he has already destroyed antiques in the white house when he, in his fits of rage and can you imagine seven televisions here <laughs> he has broken seven televisions oh my god because it's probably like all these like important historical things okay he just breaks them like it's you know like it's a glass of water or something This is what she said. I have to look it up. But can you imagine the whole like the tell? I was like, oh, I see him breaking and tell. Like it was like a you know, for him, it's an everyday thing. Oh, I broke a television. Whatever, get a new one. And so I said, you know, he he must be so crazy because you it's, not only you have to be crazy, but you have to be rich because for you, like a television, oh, whatever, just get a new one. Who cares? Or something, you know, he doesn't care about anything. He's just like, he, I, it's more like, oh, I can't break a television. Why not? I have money or whatever. Seven. Can you imagine a person breaks seven televisions because of the news? Oh, my God. All right. So, guys. So, so okay. So, guys, I'm shuffling here. So, it's going to be Mike Pence next, right? Mike Pence. Yeah, that's what I heard. I have to look. I have to... Uh, Look it up. Yeah. You know, uh, Ruth said he must not be, you know, Gladys said, no wonder the Guggenheim Museum didn't want to lend him a priceless painting. But I'm sure, and I'm sure, guys, I could, I'm not kidding. I seriously believe that if any museum had lent him anything, he would literally steal it. He'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, a Mexican came in and took the painting. And instead, he would like steal it and try to sell it. Yeah. I feel like I absolutely think that he was so it's totally for him to like steal it and take try to sell it and be like, oh, I'm sorry. It was like a it was an African American, it was a Mexican person who stole the whatever. He's gonna make it up. Oh my god. Trash, trash, trash. Okay, guys, no, I have to concentrate now. Let's think about pence. I we uh, do we agree? Do we agree? Oh my God, don't, oh my God, Morris is saying exactly Jack Kennedy paints, bought, can you imagine, I'm just imagining the image, remember Jack Kennedy, I'm not saying, you know, she, the Kennedys were perfect or anything, but remember how nice it was, like so glamorous and so, not that it has to be glamorous, but when there was respect and when there was class, when there was, and you know, even the Kennedys, of course, you know, the dad was corrupt and all those different things, but they cared, you know, I feel like I actually get goosebumps when I think about it. Like they cared about, the, they were edu like these were rich people who were educated and they they try to improve things for everyone, okay? And like, oh my God, I'm, I'm like, I'm getting, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. Um, But, um, oh my God, yeah. Oh my God. Anyway, so yeah, so let's think. I just have to think about it, guys. Let's do the same thing, right? Okay. So let's see, the same way. Does he fall before Trump? Okay. And how? Does he fall before Trump? How? And then take me to two weeks before and show us what happens. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. You know, I saw this documentary on YouTube about. Uh, it's called the. Uh, I forgot what's her name. The the woman who was married to to Rob to, to Bob Kennedy Jr. Um, Ethel, it was a documentary made by her, I think her daughter. It was a really nice documentary. You know, it was like, it's very inspiring because, the, you know, remember, it's, you know what's so sad, guys? Remember the idea of public service? Remember how it used to be, even when, obviously, when Obama was, it was all about public service. I think they talk about it a lot, the candidate, you know, they interview the candidates, like, oh, you know, my dad was really committed to public service. Oh my God. Like, oh, that's, you know, 
let's put ourselves up like remember remember the idea that people cared that it was about caring about the government and caring about the population oh my god Okay. Yeah. So, all right, guys. I'm gonna go now. I'm so, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go to hell now to think about this. You know, great spirits in this administration. It's like the opposite end, but it's nice to like breathe this air of like dignity, right? The candidates. Oh well. Okay. So now let's think about Mike Pence. Mike Pence. So is it gonna go down? Okay. The cards. The main question I I, I need answered here. Okay, is Mike Pence about him? Is that I have a feeling he's not going to take over? Why? What's going to happen? To is he going to fall before Trump does? Why? And then if so, let's go. You know, two weeks before how he he gets how he goes down two weeks before and the day he goes down. Okay, no why? Wow. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, all right, guys. So, I, I, I'm not gonna follow. Away. It sounds interesting, but I can't. I have to close my eyes. So, and so, why? What is it? What? It's gonna go down. What has has it done? What's the deal here, with Pence? Okay. Pence, Pence, Mike, Pence, Mike, Pence, Mike, Pence, Mike, Pence. Mike Pence. Mike Pence. Mike Pence. Mike Pence. Mike Pence. Make friends, make friends, make friends, make friends.
aqui. Oh, bye, Diane. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So Okay, guys, so about Mike Pence. So this is a card, it starts with the moon upside down. So the moon upside down is a crazy person, okay? And a deal. So he has, it's like, this is the first. So it's, it's a deal to put into place, okay, something, and he's guilty. This deal makes him guilty, okay? Jill makes him guilty. He in a good strong position to make changes in the government. Oh, I see. He accepted a deal to make make changes in the government. Deal to transform the government, to be energetic about the direction of the government. So that means. That means guilty government and deal to change, create change in the government. Okay. Okay, so this is a deal. The deal makes him guilty and he's all, he's crazy. And the guilt, it's like guilty government. So he accepted this deal and therefore the government is guilty. So government, the administration is guilty because it looks like here, the deal is about changing the direction of the government overtly, okay? So that means what, whatever the government has done is subsequently guilty because he affected the government in a way. So that's pretty intense actually. That explains a lot. That really, this kind of explains why he can't take over because if he's, he's part of this deal and if the deal was meant to change the direction of the government, then whatever they do is guilty. Does it make sense? That, that's what the cards are saying. It's pretty intense. Okay. So, so yeah, so that's a big deal. Now, now we have here, this is, because the question was, what you know, is it going to go down before? Why? Why the question was that I asked for the beginning? Okay, so it's like, what's going to happen to him? But if he can't take over, then why? Why? What will have will have defined him? Like what? Like what makes him not able to take over? Okay, that's the question. Because I see, I have a very strong feeling that he's not going to be able to take over, but I don't know why. It's never been very clear to me why. Okay, I know he's guilty, I know da, da 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 but I feel like now it's explaining that that he is guilty. Okay, now we have here on these other cards, court person. So the law goes to him. This is a judge. Could, could be Mueller too, okay? Marriage card. So the, the law goes after him because of this deal, the repeated concept of the deal. The deal to work, this is a card called work occupation, today, day to day, to do day to day work and get an ex, this is unexpected money. So money for it, okay? And a gift, to receiving a gift. So I feel like they 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 basically give him money and bribe him, basically. Okay, so the, he's bribed. He's charged with bribe, like he was bribed and he quid pro quo, not just quid pro quo, but getting money for this deal because we have the marriage card. It's a deal to, to work. Yeah, but I feel like exactly Ruth, I feel like this is a, uh, it's not just saying that there, the, there's a Russia, Russia, actually the Russia card has not come up yet, I don't think. 
But what it's seen very clearly here is that there's a proof of a deal because the deal is repeated twice. So he made some deal, okay? So we don't know about this. It's not talked about very much, but it's showing very strongly that he made money, that he got money in exchange. Jen, that's a very, like, this is like, how do you say it? Jen asked, did Koch brothers bring him in? This is not a very, how to say, it's almost like I can't go to that river right now, okay? I have to focus on him. Let's try to focus on him, and then we go see where that goes. Okay, because we're not looking at whoever. It's like he is guilty. Whoever brought him is not relevant right now because he's not, the Cook brothers are not in the government, okay, right now. We're just looking at why, why Pence can't, what can't take over, okay? So that's what this is explaining. Now, more cards here explain that here, the other ones are upside down. There's a message, okay? Messengero, so it's news. Messengero means it is a news, okay? News, domestico means a servant, so somebody who's a helper. There's a news that he was a helper. Il vedovo means the, the widower. So it's he's a, he was helpful. And this is, you see this card here is the same as the cross. Like you see the cross here repeating from this one here and then here. So I, I interpret this to mean in a sense that he is guilty in his soul. Does it make sense? Exactly. He's a religious man, but I feel like he, he carries the cross again. And morte means death. Ending. Ending, okay. Is an ending. Oh, you know what? I'm getting this card also came came up for Don Jr., but I didn't get it then. Now I'm getting more. This is Nemika. Nemika means enemy, female enemy. But the who is our female enemy? Like in this context, is Russia. So he ends because of his connection to Russia. Okay, so essentially, like backtracking here, he's a messenger, right? In a way, the messenger it means he's a messenger. And he has agreed to be a servant. And that servitude makes him guilty. Like he carries the cross because, and that, that brings his ending because his service, like he, in the end here, the messenger, like the messenger works for the enemy. So you see? And the servitude brings that. Like this is why. Okay. So, so I feel like, no, I feel like he's so brainwashed and 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 that he's going to deny it, okay? But but what it's saying here is that there's proof. He's a he's a messenger. Like I don't I feel like there is a deal. Like it's not just that he it's not as simple as saying, "Oh, look, he doesn't like he knew that Trump did this." No, it's like there's some sort of something here that we don't know about yet, okay? Something that we don't know about yet that shows that he has a deal. It's showing very clearly and that he works for the enemy. Okay, now this way, now I understand. Now let's go to two weeks, two weeks before he goes down. Okay, what's happening? What are the signs? Let's look at that. Okay, what's happening? What are the signs? So this is prison, like again, prison card, okay, and, and kind of like mental prison, but I think here it could very well be prison. So at heart, like meaning maybe things, people or something he cares about, okay? Oh, this is, I'm getting it, I'm understanding. This is money, okay, and tree. So this could be the financial implications that all the Republicans had. Okay, so this is like he's probably one of them. So his the people that have the same values as he does are all guilty because this is a tree, meaning the family. Okay, so the people that are good night, Laura. Okay, nice to see. You. Okay, so so the things he cares about. Okay, the family, the people that have the same values that he does. Okay, so and. There's news about money. Again, money news, okay? 
that affects the Republicans because it's news about the Republicans. Because we know that mice is corruption, but I think now we know we, we consider the Republicans to be mice. So all the Republicans are worried because news is coming very soon about them. So I feel like what happens here, what I'm sensing, I'm just getting from here, I'm not sensing, I'm looking at the cards, is that it's not happy news, but it's like news about people that he cares about or his values, okay? News about the corrupt corruption in the Republican Party, okay, leaves everybody on edge, and it's news about the wrong money of the Republicans and everybody associated with them and the things he cares about, okay? So I feel like what it's, okay, one second now, let's see how, what comes next. Before I start talking, So here it's interesting, the good lady, probably Russia, the Russia card, okay, a long way, which means for a long time, I think, okay, something related to Russia for a long time has been, oh, high honors. So I feel like he has received, he has pushed, worked with Russia or their values for such a long time that he has received honors from them. And this is journey. So the journey, I think, in this context means something. It could, either, it could be that he traveled there or that he received honors from them, the foreign power, which I think is probably more likely. And there's an expectation, meaning I think this is, expectation could also mean in some ways quid pro quo. I mean, you're expecting something, you're a little anxious, but you've done something for them and they expect something from you as well. Okay, so that's, I feel like, you know what, Nagai, this is making sense because remember how Manafort was the guy who picked Pence? So I feel like I have a sense that the Russians actually really trust him. And I'll show you why, because there's all these cards about, exactly like Tillerson, yeah. There's all these cards about um, loyalty that are gonna come later, okay? I'll show you right here. A trip. Okay, Grand Signore, I don't know if it's him or it could be Trump or it's like a, the Lord, okay? So there's a trip on our foreign Lord, okay? La Mica, the friend. So the foreign person, okay, there's a trip, right? Wait, yeah. It's funny because the journey was here too, so now I'm like almost confused, but it's, the same. it's just a different set of cards, but they all say the same thing. So it's like, oh, did we just look at you? Yes, we did, but it's the same, it's a confirmation. So there's indeed a journey that he commits to the Gran Signore that could be also Putin, okay? And there's a reunion. Now, it, it, it could mean that if this is true, that he made a deal with them and that he really cares about them. Now, they, they there's a reunion meaning like now we want the payback, right? And la fedeltà, meaning loyalty. So, so there's a you know a reunion, and it could also be say, saying too that that in this journey it could also mean that he could be recorded because I'm trying to think maybe this is the proof, okay, that he was loyal to them because right it's repeating many times that he's he's very loyal to them, his pledge is loyalty to them, and uh, and and he many times okay so it's like he is one of them essentially okay so so let me find before i close my eyes let me find out what happens on the day this is two weeks before let's find out what happens on the day that he leaves okay Yeah, it's saying guys saying exactly the same thing as the other ones. Let me just get more here. Oh 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 oh. Sorry, <laughs> he's fucked. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, oh no, sad news, oh no, oh no, oh my God. Okay, so 
So the day that, let me show you the, start with the different cards here because like, just so everybody gets happy first. Okay, because I said, so it's like there's three different, four different styles of cards, okay? So this is the day we're going, we're at the day when, the, when he leaves, like what happens? So, okay, look, okay guys, we're ready to celebrate, ready to celebrate. What is the first card of the Italian cards? Prigione, oh, oh, somebody goes to prison. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, who, Mike Pence, are you kidding? Oh my God. Oh my God. Whoa. Vecchia signora. Now this means old lady. Okay, now this means, I'm, it's interesting because it could either mean that it's about the past. The old lady mean, could mean that something that happened a long time ago. It could also mean wisdom. But I think in this case, it means like they go way back kind of thing, okay? Here's a la, la letter. I mean, uh, Mr. Pence, we have a, here for you a letter from Mr. Muller. It says you are indicted. You go to jail. Bye. <laughs> okay. So this also means that he stunts. I means a room. This is. I was also studying this card today, and it's saying that that card. If you look at the scene closely, that's a like that looks like somebody left abruptly. If you look, it's kind of like messy. Somebody was writing something, had the secret information, but had to leave quickly. Okay. So it it looks like. It also means something that is a private communication. So it could either mean that he has to leave the room quickly. His, it's like his personal residence very quickly because he received this letter. Like this letter, essentially, probably an, an indictment. And he gets sick. He like fall. He like, you know, what's the, what's the word? Uh, faints or something. Amalato. Amalato. Look. Oh, I'm so sorry, mister. Uh, you are sick. Huh? I'm sorry for you. So you see, like, so I feel like it's prison, really. Like, what else? Look, there's a card for you. What does it say? I don't know. It shows you're in prison, in chains, in a prison. Bye. So, yeah, so that's what it looks like. It's like because of all these things you've been doing for a while, there's a letter, and the letter says, you better come this way, baby. And you leave everything that you're doing, like, in the middle of whatever, the night or whenever they knock on the door, and you get sick. You're like, what? Like, you know, so just to confirm what this is saying here, we have success in love, meaning they had, you know, he had these like shady deals and gloomy thoughts. Oh, he's kind of worried. That's why maybe he was sick because he's kind of worried. Gloomy thoughts about the business, you know, the deal he had. And then look, sad news. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mike Pence has sad news. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> and he's thinking about it. Look, oh, no, oh, no, here, main person. So it's sad news for him. Uh oh. Oh no, really? Why? Oh no. And if you know, guys, what I'm saying, this is kind of a strange thing to say, but I feel like he, I see him having premonitions because it's saying here, sad news, okay? It's saying here, gloomy thoughts, like he's thinking about it. And then again, another card of thoughts. It's on his mind constantly. It's almost like he knows it's gonna happen. He's fretting over it and he thinks about it. It's almost like he knew before, okay? And uh, and the other thing again, guys, it this repeats what the other card said, the other part of the reading two weeks before. So opportunity to turn the world upside down. The undoing of the victory is key. So this was a key opportunity for him, for them. And he's loyal to them again remember the dog appeared in the italian cards too uh and he's he's loyal to the idea of turning the country upside down and he have got the wrong victory through what do we have the ship so he's loyal to the ship he's loyal to the foreign power and he was put in place because he was key to them he's an opera the key the answer here opportunity to the foreign power through the loyalists which is him so, so the answer is very clear here, guys. So I'm going to go. Yeah, so I feel like the, the Italian cards really show the day, the day that was pretty amazing. Like he, he faints almost when he, when he found that out. Okay, so, so, okay. So let me close before, well, Jessica is asking, what about sessions, any up, updates? So, so Jessica, let me do, you know, right today, I think it would be important to look at people who are in the government. 
okay in the sense of like the people who can't why are they going to take over the government yes or no recessions is not it's like for another day maybe like let's because we're look try, uh, right now trying to answer this question like of like why can't these people take over you know because we have to figure it out before we move on to the question of what's next okay yeah okay uh, patty joe has a complex question uh but i can't it seems i don't know uh, maybe let's see let's try to figure out these people yeah totally no totally and patty joe please write you know the, the the question that you asked please post as a comment because then i'll be able to go back and like write it down but i can't i don't know that i can go back to the well i guess like before i once it ends i'll look into the question and write it down okay so let me close my eyes here and think about the two weeks okay and what happens with pence and the day that he leaves okay and what happens out what happens after you know yeah so yeah okay all right yeah yeah because i asked like oh, then i just asked the guys like just i'm not gonna put all the cards but just what happens after you know the day that he leaves and it's saying he's enemy like he enemy right enemy in the white house meaning the white he put the our enemies in the white house such a dot a lot of times means the president okay so he placed enemies in the white he's an enemy our put our enemies meaning the russians in the white house through the president and he got money for it gran consolazione means it's the quid pro quo a lot of money card okay il ladro the thief so essentially he stole he allowed the enemy to steal, okay? And the White House got money. Like, he got money in order to allow for all of this to happen, okay? So that's that. All right. Okay, so so let me close my eyes. Let's think about, okay, let's tell us about anything else that's important to know about Pence, the day that he leaves and what's happening. What's happening with him? Okay, guys, so so basically, okay. So the thing with it's showing here, Pence, it's like, it's it's funny, I feel like I understand him more, more now because it's showing that essentially he he's a little bit psychic in a weird way. It sounds crazy to say it, but like I see him like having these thoughts that he can't, like he tries to stop the thoughts that are telling him that this is gonna happen that you know it's bad that like it's you know it's illegal and he like can't even he has bad dreams and like he like it's going on over and over and over him okay over again and so he's like a person who like has this very he tries very hard to control his thoughts and that's the thing with the gay thing i think he's like he he's attracted to men but he tries to like this is why he's very like you know uptight or whatever like i don't know he's almost like about to burst okay so so what happens is like I get this image, it's a very strange image. It's like this image, you know, like uh, when people are in the hospital and there's that bag, I think it's called an IV bag or something. And like the image I have is that they have this, this IV bag of like, and then there's like veins that go, somebody pumps on it and the veins go to a lot of places. And one of them goes to, to Pence, meaning, they found the money source that was pumped into the Republicans or into people in the U.S. And one of the channels is him. I feel like they found the one account abroad that relates to the Republicans. And as they pump it, they can track. Because this is actually a long time ago, I had a boyfriend who was a scientist. And he, he makes these, 
I guess the experiments they did is like they put some colors and some proteins and they see where they end up, okay. So this is where it was. It was like, it was kind of like this, it pumps and it traces the money. It's sort of like, I feel like it's like they've traced this foreign accounts that all go to the US and then they're channeled into specific Republicans like this, okay. So, so he finds this information and when he's giving the, the paper, like the letter, you know, letter, letter, that's what this explains. And he, he loses it. I feel like he grabs, I see him grabbing a glass of water and breaking the glass with his hands. He's like, no, no, it's not, it's not real. It's not real. No, no. Like kind of like that, like breaking the glass and his face finally drops. Cause you know, the thing that is very complicated for me that I really don't like him is that he's, he's a person who's like, his tension is maximum. He's just about to explode. You know, he's very like, I'm great, I'm like pimps, I am so calm. But like, you know, there, it's almost like it hurts actually my neck to try to pretend to be him, because he's so, hi, how are you? Like, you know, he's like, it's like, I don't know, my, like he's very tense. Okay, so I feel like what happens is when he gets the news, ah, like he, he rages like Trump in a different way. No, and it, that's why I feel like, I feel like, but he's dominant though. That's the thing. I think he's dominant. He's not submissive. He has, he has the anger like that. You know, he's not, he's not the guy who's like, yeah, tense exactly. So then he gets sick. I feel like that's why he like, no, it's not true. It's not, it's like, Oh, like that, you know, and I feel like he actually has to be restrained. And this is like, you know, the thing about the room, like he gets news. And I think it's early in the morning that he gets, he's awakened up and he gets the letter, you know, this letter that proves all the money. And this is why guys, because I was like, I, I will, I was like, yeah, but Dime, Jessica is saying something. His well, I don't think, like I said, I think he's gay, but not not the bottom. He's a top. So basically, it's like. So, what I feel like, essentially, I'm trying to think here. Um, this is why. Let's see. Like, oh my God, there's so many. Oh, here. Okay, the beginning. Remember how, when there was in here the first thing that, that showed up about him. Okay, one of the the set like. It said that the the tree of Republicans, okay, there's news about the shady money of the tree of Republicans. So I think what is happening here, okay, is that once the money, this is why I think the news comes together because they prove that there's like vast amount of money, they trace it for to everyone. And this is why it comes out together because they can trace all the people who receive this specific amount of money from a specific account. So it's the kind of thing that's very hard to disprove. But what I also saw was that they have a couple of recordings, a few things that prove that, that he's like, yes, indeed, we are ready to go on with our plan. As planned, of course, you know, we believe like that he's a 100% loyal. And one of the, like guys, there's so many cards, I don't even, it's hard for me to even keep track. So one of the track, the, oh my God. One of the cards here shows that for a long time, okay? So, is it this one? Yeah. It just shows that he has been on this, this road for a long time, okay? So, so yeah, I just feel like for him, it's been going for... Yeah, they show there's proof essentially that he's loyal to them, okay, and that this has been going on for quite a while. Yeah, here, long way, okay, so long way, he's connected to the old lady, he got honors from them or something. So it's not just that the that the money is traced, but they have, have recorded proof or and written proof that he's not, he's not only in with it, but he's very in agreement with it because of his religious madness, okay? So, so that's it, okay? So I feel like that's what I see, okay? That he received money, but most importantly, he pledged the allegiance to them a long time ago. And this is why they picked him, 
because he's a trusted person to them. Okay, this is why he was made vice president in our Chris Christie. Okay, all right, so that ends Pence. Okay, does it? do you have any questions about Pence? I think we, we finished Pence, okay? All right, so let me, because we have, we have uh, 40 minutes or so. Okay, let's, uh, I think Ryan, right? Let's do the Ryan. Right, and, and let's let's try let's try to organize here. So, Ryan, who else? I would like to do McConnell if possible, but let's see. I have to like, I have to really rush. Try to rush if possible. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, but Ryan, he's he knows something's up because he's already said he's not coming. I mean, he's not. He's gonna resign or whatever. Okay, so, oh, another question that I have, guys, I, I haven't asked, how far is, is, how far does this letter come? Like, what is the space between when Trump leaves and when Pence leaves? I don't think I asked the question. I need to, I need to know this. I'm going to close my eyes and see if I can figure something out, okay? Okay, so between all of them. Okay, so, Pence, how long? Well, I don't know if this makes any sense, guys, but it's saying two and a half weeks. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Again, I don't know what that means. Interesting. Luciana say many psychics say he'll be present for like five minutes and get indicted. I feel like, maybe, who knows? I don't know if this is true, but I feel like he, he. I so I see him getting going down with the other Republicans. Maybe they they will wait to unseal. Who knows? But I feel like, because I don't know, again, I don't know how, you know, the whole, the two do, one, two, three, because I feel like they can't, the, the, the problem is that they, once everything goes down, just thinking of the logistics of, of everything, they can't just let it, like, let things run normally. They must have a plan in place. So that's why I think this idea of, like, him even becoming president, I don't think, I think, like, that would be too complicated, okay? I feel like that, like from from why would Mueller let let him be president if he knows he's guilty? That just seems like too complicated, and it would create more chaos and more instability. Because from their perspective, oh, I have to get some. Time. From their perspective, basically, um, they want to minimize the chaos. They have to have a plan. So this is why I think. I don't know how, you know, because he is the vice president, he's not the other, but I do see him, see him getting something, you know, getting down with the other Republicans, okay? And maybe something bigger comes along when they, they have the recordings as well, but maybe, but what I feel like is, is there's going to be a huge indictment. And this is, you know, guys, I'm remembering, remember how I did a reading, like a couple of them maybe? That said that the Republicans, the reason why they they want to leave is because they know that this whole thing about money is going to come out. And this is it. It's the image I saw, you know, with the blood pumping out and that being traced. So so this is it, I, th I think. Okay. So, yeah. But let's see. Jen is saying about blood. But I feel like, Jen, let's focus on, like, before we oh, I have half an hour. So before I get into Obama or whatever that happens next, let's figure out. Does this make sense? I just want to clean up why, why we're not like, what you know, what's going to happen? Why these people that are scheduled or should be taking over or not? And then we can find out what happens next. But I want to know about these people, okay? Okay, so yeah, yeah, because I feel like if it is what it is, okay, guys. I feel like think about it. If 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 Pence is as guilty as it looks, then it would be very dangerous to leave him in place, because who knows what he's going to do next? Like he couldn't, you know, like you know what I mean? It'd be very dangerous for him uh, to like, yeah. 
Yeah, no, no, totally. Yeah, I know. It's like, you you know what I mean? It would be too dangerous to like uh, let somebody like him in the presidency. It's like, what? Like he could do, who knows what he could do? I, honestly, I feel like he's, what well, the feeling I get is that, is that he, um, he's so loyal to them. He's the most loyal to the Russians, I get the sense. So that if they like, okay, bl bl put a bomb, he'd be like, okay, sure. I think he's capable of doing something like that, okay? So, um, okay, so let's see here. Now, Paul Ryan, okay, so Paul Ryan. <laughs> oh my God, Paul Ryan, uh, what about him? Like, why can't he take over? Okay, now tell us how he's gonna die, how he's going down and you know, time, time wise and, and how it happens. Okay, so if he's going down before Trump, how, and then the timelines, okay, two weeks and then the day of how he goes down, okay. Okay, Paul Ryan. Um, Who is Matias? Morris is asking. I wonder if the military man from yesterday is, is Matias. Who is Matias? I don't know who that is. Is a Bible reference? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, so Mathis. Okay, Mathis is probably okay. But the thing, uh, Morrissey, I did a, a really a, a very early reading on John Kelly, and I saw. I remember that reading had the similar image that he was going to be the guy who gives Trump the indictment personally, he delivers the indictment. So yeah, so this is why because he's very close to Trump, okay, and Trump trusts him, and this is why. Okay, I think it's him. Okay, so Paul Ryan. Okay, Paul Ryan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, oh my God. So basically, it's very similar to all, I guess, to, to what we've seen today is happy. So first card is final, painful ending, okay, and happy. Happy about a painful end, like, so, oh my God. So, okay, so Donna was talking about um, Trump's hair. Can you guys believe that? What was that hair? Was it like glue gun or something? What was that? I don't understand. <laughs> so, I don't know. Or maybe it was like a hairspray. How does that happen? It's like right here. And then he like, oh my God. I don't know.
Weave. Oh my God. Hair glue. Is that it? I don't know what that is. How do you even do that? I was like, whoa. Because you know what? Okay, guys, this is kind of creepy. So who does his, his, somebody must do his hair. Okay. Because I'm sure he's incapable, but somebody does his hair and must like put hairspray. Okay, can I tell you like a horrible job? Somebody puts like fake tan on Trump naked. Can you imagine? Isn't that gross? So guys, this is a... Uh very similar to other readings I've, you know, I've done so far. So it's like happy, just to turn the country upside down with happy. Like his, va you know, this is interesting because it's painful ending to his values as well, which is nicer to, to think about it that way. This is a family card here. So he's happy to, to, to do the bidding of Russia and it's an opportunity for another ending. He sees it, okay? as an opportunity to turn, to turn everything upside down. To, and I feel like guys, you know, I'm, I'm crashing. I'm sorry, I'm seeing an image of him talking like how he is in reality. He's like, yeah, let's burn the whole thing down. Let's trash it. Let's, he wants to destroy the government. Okay, he's like, let's just burn the whole thing down. He's happy, he's angry. I feel like he has a lot of anger that we don't see, but he's a mean, angry person. Okay, so this is a, yeah, opportunity, got a deal. I feel like I already know whatever. Okay, so let's see here how it comes out. Oh my God, again. The... Wow. You know, it's weird. Like his, he was reading, it's a lot like, like Pence's in a weird way. And I shuffle these cards. Okay, so okay, so this is I'll show you guys. This is interesting. You know how this is a card of a house, but it also could be the house of representatives. It's the ha casa, right? Sacerdote means the leader. So he's the leader of the house. It could be pressed, but I think here is probably him. Okay. Gran consolazione is a lot of money. You see here, he he earns a lot of money in the end. So he got a lot of money as the the speaker of the house from the enemy. Il nemico. Okay, so from the enemy, he got a lot of money. And la lecherezza, it means something light, like a butterfly. But I think I was reading the meanings today, and I think it also means a ditz. Like he acts ditzy while he's doing all of this, while he's getting the big money from the enemy, while he, yeah, as the leader of the house, he gets a big money from the enemy. He acts like, oh, like, oh really? Me? No, no way. Like, you know, he's a, he's like that. Okay. So he's very guilty. I feel like the large quantity of money, the fact that he's the leader of the house and the fact that the money is from the enemy and he knows it and he acts like he doesn't. Okay. And here, very similar to, to Pence, the lady card. Okay. Long way of meaning for a long time, like Russia for a long time expectation probably like you know we've been doing this for a long time so there's a implied expectation exactly oh my god donna said something perfect he's like the pretty girl that plays dumb while robbing you blind exactly and then high honors so i feel like he got honors from them or like he's doing it for honors you know what i mean he's doing it for rewards and journey from foreign power so I feel like he felt like he was going to go with this so that he could get power himself. You know how he wanted to be president, supposedly? So that, that was just very cold. And cal I see, oh my God, guys, I've seen him. He's really disgusting. I see him, how he really is inside. And like, he's like, yeah, I do whatever. I'm going to be the president. Fuck. The it's like he was, he does any, he has nothing inside. He's very like, he's very, um, what's the word even? He's like, he, he can kill anybody. I, the sense I get from him is like, he's willing to stab anybody in the immoral, not just immoral, Diane, but like Machiavellic and calculating and really evil, ruthless, yes. But like his, his true face is like, 
these people have nothing on me. I can like do anything with a straight face. I can do the most evil things and like just, you know, keep that, you know, nice guy face. That's, that's my talent. He knows it. And he knows that like he, he had, most people don't have the talent to like, to like keep that straight face. Okay. So, so that's it. Like he, he's done it and he's guilty. Okay. So, so tell us about two weeks before he goes down. Like what are the signs? What are the bigger, you know, let's see before I look, I, I'm already seeing images of him, but let's see what the cards say here. Two weeks. Uh oh, <laughs> justice upside down. That means trouble. Justice upside down. You're in trouble. Justice upside down. <laughs> yeah, similar. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, now the like. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my God. It's funny you say that because I see like, I see a rich girl here and I'm like, it's interesting. Some of Cynthia say he's apparently he's had affairs and so there's a woman here. Okay, so okay, so this is two weeks, guys. So then we have here bereavement an ending, right? It would be the coffin card, okay? So this is gaining a lot of money. So again, it shows that it's the money that's going to take him down. This is a false person. That's him, right? So he's a person who plays. He's like nice guy on the you know the facade. And there's a woman here, rich girl. It could be. This is also a card that's related to abundance. So he did it for the money. So he got a lot of money, and he's like, he's like, uh, how do we explain it? I don't know. There's something about it where I feel like it's, uh, it's a little child. So it's either it's showing here that he's a false person. It, it could even be that he has, again, has a love or has a double life, something like that. Okay. Okay. So. All right. What do you mean? Is Ryan a dreamer? I don't know what you mean. Oh, a dreamer. Oh, yeah. Because Morris is saying Gladys Trump. Trump okay. Sounds more and more like the mob with their girlfriend. Yeah, so I feel like he's a false person. It's showing here that it's an ending because of his money. He's a false person. And, and you know, and also to maintain, like it's also showing here in some ways to maintain the uh, appearances. Okay, he wanted this money to like keep up a lifestyle or something like that. Okay. And here we have... He's kind of, you know, this is two weeks before, so he's kind of like, oh, kind of sad, kind of like bummed, lost hope because it's Speranza, so he doesn't have hope. Oh, he's kind of sad, like, oh, no, he's hopeless, feeling hopeless. And the foreign, he's, it's like ongoing, this is foreign influence, okay. La Constanza means like a perseverance, so constant, he had constant contact with foreign powers here uh, the lady is unhappy with him upside down meaning russia is happy with him he they've had contact on and off but russia is kind of bummed at him but ultimately here again justice is upside down two weeks before he leaves right because of his shady dealings in the back room okay and so there's disappointment in him because of the election so shady dealings this is another thing that comes out about him, like that he's involved in all the shady election stuff. Okay. And I feel like it's coming out like the ruthlessness, like his ruthlessness is, is really important here. And that he's, he knows something about the election key here. Okay. Chattered upside down, wrongful victory. And the plan to turn everything upside down from the foreign power. So his key. To the whole connection with it here it's going to show you the election so
So basically, he's aware of the shady dealings. He's part of it because Justice Upside Down comes out. The shady stuff, shady dealings are key for with you know for the foreign power and shady dealings because of the election. The election won through the foreign power, so he knows about it. Okay, he was informed and he knows about it. Okay, so that's that's two weeks. Now let's go to the day that he falls quickly. Yeah, we have 15. Okay, so, oh my God, it's funny. Let me just show you as the cards appear. La y ladro. So it means this is a thief. So see, this is a person coming from the window. He's a thief. And fedelta. So he's he's either loyal to the thief or he's a, you know, he's a thief who's loyal to. And he's sick. So, oh no, he's sick. Oh, it's the day he falls. Okay, so the sick, the sick thief. Veca Signora means like for a long time. Something, what else? Oh, letter, look. Oh, the day he falls, he received the letter. This is also Pence also got the letter. Remember, he got sick the day he got the letter. So, yeah, so because he's been doing this stuff for a long time, he gets kind of sick, kind of upset. You know, he's loyal to the thief. Basically, you know, if you we'll think about what the context is, is the, the election was stolen, right? So he's loyal to the thief. And he, you know, it's funny because here's a sick, but if we, we should think about it also, sick isn't like how we use it in English. He's sick. Like he's sick. Like he's a sick person. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he's been like this for a long time. And he gets a letter like, oops, hello, Mr. There's a letter for the Mr. Miller has a letter for you, okay? <laughs> so that's apt. Okay, so that's what was it? This was of the Italian cards the first time. Now well, let's go to the other little cards. A change. Uh oh, uh oh, in the house. Good. Yeah. Oh my God, again, theft, guys. Look, a change. First card is a change. Oops. In the house. I think this could mean the White House. It could also mean his house in the sense of House of Representatives. His is like rich gentleman. It could be him, but it could also be Trump. So there's a change in both houses, I think, okay? Change in the White House as well, or him. Because this is a living room. And living room, I'm learning, it also has to do with personal communications. Personal space and personal communications. So something was intercepted. And what do we have here? The last card is theft. So he's a thief either way because it's showing twice. The theft card. So there's changes in the house because this man has intimate communications or connections to the thief of the elections. And I feel like they they must have some they must have some sort of um, proof that he's connected to the theft of the election because it's showing twice. Okay. And uh, yeah. Oh my God, it's interesting. Some of these cards are repeating. Oh look, this is interesting. Remember how I said there was the news are gonna come out about the Republicans, the day he comes, this is like illusions, okay? So the illusions of the Republicans, remember that the mice is, is corruption, but essentially the Republicans. And this is abuse of power, misuse of power, okay? And news, so it becomes news. So the day that he falls is the day when the corruption by the Republicans becomes news. Yeah, ooh, looks like he'll be a group. And this is Knight of Cups, I think also could be sort of like misleading also, kind of like a lying man, his him. Okay, this is him, I think, with the gentleman. So news about him. And the shady, like the corruption, okay. This is, you know, maybe the, it's like a woman, of, uh, could be women upside down, could be anger. You know, this is a child. So what he, this, the theft he's, he's done. Okay. Why does it take, but Cynthia, you have to remember though, that like, it's a lot of work. It's insane. Like they're trying to do it all at once. I think it's fine. You know, it's like, because everything has to be, it's a military operation. It has to work. Like they can't leave the stones unturned. Okay. So and people are saying that Mueller is going very fast considering how big the investigation is. So, so 
okay, so this is the man. Yeah, they have to get it right because guys, if they fuck up, they it's like they could risk not arresting them. You know what I mean? They ha it has to be extremely tight. So the new illusions, the news of corruption of, of Ryan, it becomes news and it's news also about the president and him. Okay, so, and I feel like I see Trump like, I see Trump like kind of like shaking almost when the news comes out because they name something about Trump also in, in his indictment, but not Trump yet. So no, Trump knows it's coming, but it's not like he's only at the very end. That's when they catch him. But they do, they do the money thing, you know, the, the financial. Let me close my eyes and understand here what's happening. So the day that he comes, it's about, you know, the long term loyalty and the money, but like. I feel like he knows that people are treating him weird. He knows that there's something coming. They've been investigating him. He's just like, so what? So this is who I am. They know now that I am that guy, a big deal. They're not gonna do anything. It's all this bullshit, I'm done. It's like, he, he's very cynical. He's a very horrible person. So, so, uh, all right. So then, uh, so yeah, I just feel like, He's a very kind of, I feel like, you know, he's like a criminal. Like literally I get the sense and I feel like the whole thing, I wonder, because you know, we have the rats here. I wonder if it could be the mall, it really could be Ryko, honestly, because it's like a money, it's all the money thing is comes at once about them. Okay, and the money is frozen. I think all these people also who got this money, not only, not only do they say this money is illegal, but when they find it and trace it, they freeze it, okay? So that's the issue too. Let's see what happens to the money. Okay. If he, if there's anything, it doesn't, doesn't really show much, but yeah, I just, yeah, this is just quickly marriage card, happiness. So he's happy to make, get the deals. And then the deals with Russia, right? Russians are Russian. And who comes next? Mueller. Look, the guy with the lion. Here's Mueller. So Mueller comes and gift, gift, receiving gift. So he takes, Mueller takes the money. <laughs> it confirms, okay. So, so, so yeah, so I feel like, but I feel like it's a huge, it's a big thing. You know, like I said, the money, you know, the blood pump thing, because also the image that I saw that they gave me or whatever of the money, the blood thing, you know, the blood pack that travels through the veins of all of them. It also means that it's like, um, it's the life. It's their life, you know what I mean? It's not just the money, but it's like if you, is a blood transfusion, they were about to die without this money. So it's a big deal, but if it affects all of them, the veins, they're all the little veins, okay? I feel like they were very thug life, exactly. I think he's just, they were very into, they were like, why not? Let's just risk it. Because it's showing here that he knows a lot about the election, not just the money, but he there's something about like he knows all the corruption of the GOP. Okay, so so then he knows all of it. So it's not just it's not just that he received money, is that he knows about how the illegal elections were conducted. So that's a problem. Okay, so so I see like and this is why I feel like, and guys, I honestly see this happening in one day. I mean, maybe I'm crazy. But I feel like the day when it comes out, it's gonna be. I am. I feel like there's a like more than forty something names. It's like a huge. Newspapers are trying to like you know have to list all of them. It's gonna be all of them at once, because again, and I think it's possible. Who knows what it is? Ryko racketeering, whatever. I don't know. But I feel like, like I said, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. A, I mean, guys. Like I said, you know. It's, quote unquote, for entertainment purposes only, because it seems so crazy, right? But, but it's crazy, you know, it's crazy. I just feel like the whole thing, I'm just trying to like process the whole thing. Yeah, it is the money, the group money, that they're all in the, they come, the blood, the big bag of blood feeds all of them. Okay, and that's what it shows in that day, okay? Including Pence. And like, I just feel like that's what happens, okay? And I don't know, I mean, I don't know if they can. 
Okay, let me just ask, like, what happens? Just close my eyes. Like, what happens? Do they all leave at once? What happens when they are indicted? Like, do they have, do they still go to the, do they still stay in the government? I don't know. So guys, you know, now that, who else? Right now we don't have, we have, I have like three minutes left. It's not enough, but we need to do McConnell next time. And then also, I also feel like we need to know, find out how, what happens when these people are not, if they are all indicted, like what happens to Congress? What happens to Senate? That's the next question. Okay, so what happens if these people are not taking over? What's next? Who's coming next? Okay. So, so that's the question, guys. Okay, so we have, we can like, now can decompress and like, think about it, you know. I, so anyway, so these are the nails. These are the next questions. So guys, there's nothing tomorrow, okay. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do something on Saturday or so, like, I'll think about it, okay. I have to, I'll post tomorrow what I, what I end up doing. I feel like it's like, oh my God, so many readings, kind of intense. I don't want to like get burned out, but I feel like it. I really at least need to know McConnell so we can move on. Okay. Yeah. Ruth is saying, yeah. No, I feel like it's. I don't know, guys. I, I have to. That's what happens next. I need to know what happened. The next big question, like I said, McConnell, but also, what happens to the Senate, or to these people? Like once they're this group of people is indicted, like I need to know. I don't know. I don't know. Good night, good night, Patty Joe. Yeah. So, so I have to like think about it. Yes, yes, I will. Thank you, Patricia. So, but I think it was good, guys. And uh, we will. Uh, yes, thank you. So then the next, it's nice because next I feel like we're kind of looking to the future, like what happens after them. You know, because like I think it's nicer to know what's going to happen because I feel like if these people are really going, it's crazy, you know, what happens. So yes, yes. Thank you guys. All right. So, so yeah, I'll send you the schedule probably tomorrow or, or Saturday the latest. And then we'll continue on our, I love like our psychic detectives, psychic detectives to find out what, what happens next. All right. Okay. Bye, guys. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Bye. Good night. Bye.